People versus Desmarinas E. Gonzales, GR number 203986, October 4, 2017. This is for criminal procedure, specifically on sufficiency of complaint or information. Note that the mere usage of the term treachery in the information without anything more did not suffice for such term as a conclusion of law, not a factual averment. To merely state in the information that treachery was attendant is not enough because the usage of such term is not a factual averment but a conclusion of law. Facts of the case. This case was about the downgrading of charge from murder to homicide due to the failure of the information to aver the factual basis for the attendant circumstance of treachery. This was an original case for murder filed by the Office of the City Prosecutor of Las Piñas against accused appellant Gerson Dasmariñas E. Gonzalez and his co-accused Nino Polo. It was alleged in the information that the killing of the victim, PO to Marlon Anoya, was qualified by the circumstances of treachery, abuse of superior strength, and evident premeditation. That accused Dasmariñas conspired and confederated together with his co-accused and both of them mutually helped and aided each other without justifiable motive with intent to kill and with treachery, abuse of superior strength, and evident premeditation did then and there knowingly, unlawfully, and feloniously attack, assault, and use personal violence upon the victim PO2 Marlon Anoya by then and there shooting him twice on his head, thereby inflicting upon the latter mortal wound which directly caused his death. Those were the allegations stated in the information. The defense of accused Dasmarinas were mere denial and alibi. At the regional trial court, accused Desmarinas was found guilty beyond reasonable doubt for the crime of murder while his co-accused was acquitted. The Court of Appeals affirmed the regional trial court's decision with modification by declaring that the accused would not be eligible for parole. Issue whether the Court of Appeals was correct in affirming the charge of murder. Ruling? No, the Court of Appeals was not correct in affirming the charge of murder. The Supreme Court said that it cannot sustain the finding of the Court of Appeals that the killing was attended by treachery because the acts constitutive of treachery were not thereby sufficiently averred. The mere usage of the term treachery in the information without anything more did not suffice for such term was a conclusion of law, not a factual averment. The sufficiency of the information is judged by the rule applicable at the time of its filing. In this case, that rule is Section 9, Rule 110 of the 2000 Rules on Criminal Procedure. The text of the rule requires that the acts or omissions complained of as constituting the offense must be stated in ordinary and concise language and not necessarily in the language used in the statute, but in terms sufficient to enable a person of common understanding to know what offense is being charged as well as its qualifying and aggravating circumstances. Thus, Marinas was presumed innocent of wrongdoing and thus was unaware of having committed anything wrong in relation to the accusation. Hence, 
the information must sufficiently give him the knowledge of what he had allegedly committed. In this case, the information did not make any factual averment on how the Smarinius had deliberately employed means, methods, or forms in the execution of the act, setting forth such means, methods, or forms in a manner that would enable a person of common understanding to know what offense was intended to be charged, that tended directly and specially to ensure its execution without risk to the accused arising from the defense that the victim might make. As earlier indicated, to merely state in the information that treachery was attendant is not enough because the usage of such term is not a factual averment but a conclusion of law. Consequently, the Smarinius could not be properly convicted of murder but only of homicide which is defined and penalized under Article 249 of the Revised Penal Code. In applying the foregoing, the Supreme Court affirmed with modification the Court of Appeals decision and held that the accused appellant, Gerson Desmarinas E. Gonzalez, was guilty beyond reasonable doubt of homicide. <music>